hujambo na karibu katika Swahili Kingdom kwa majina naitwa Koni karibu tena katika Swahili Kingdom kama wewe ni mgeni subscribe hapo chini ili uweze kupata mawaidha mengi kuhusu kusoma kusoma na kujifunza Kiswahili na pia lugha nyingine kama haujanielewa angalia maandishi madogo madogo ambayo yako hapo chini ambayo yame ekwa katika Kiingereza ili uweze kuelewa zaidi. Kama umeelewa, hongera. Tuendelee kwenye video. Na katika hii video nataka kuongea kuhusu jinsi unavyoweza kupata msamiati kutoka katika vitabu. Acha niongee katika Kiingereza ili uweze kufafanuliwa kimakini. Sawa sawa. So today in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how you can acquire vocabularies in Swahili using books. Okay, using books. So if you are a beginner you can start with children books, the books that have pictures or books that um or advertisements that have uh, small what will I say? They have small phrases, but I am learning Italian. I am two months now I started on January but I'm using beginner Italian beginner books especially by Oli Richards I'm using his books I didn't start with advertisements but I can see advertisements on my laptop my phone because I changed my YouTube in Italian so when I, I see adverts on my YouTube as you see adverts on your YouTube channel I see them in Italian so I'm in the process of acquiring through advertisements as I read and as I listen to music, conversation and whatever, but I'm doing the beginner stuff. So how can you acquire? As I said, if you are a beginner, start with the beginner books. Don't, don't, um, what will I say? Don't start with something that you will not be able to achieve. You yourself know you will not be able to achieve. Okay, they say a journey of 1,000 miles, 1,000 1, or 10,000. A journey of 10,000 miles start with, with a single step. So don't start with 10 steps. Start with a single step. Okay, if you are beginner, choose a beginner book. If you are intermediate, choose an intermediate book. If you are an advanced, choose an advanced book. I'll give you an example. Italian, I'm in the beginner, very beginner. I'm using a beginner book by Oli Richards. The, span, the Italian short stories by Oli Richards. In, the, in Tagalog and in Spanish, I'm in the advanced. So I'm reading self-help books. Self-help books, sorry. For example, I have read the book Burlar, 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 Burlar al Diablo. Bulral al Diablo. And another book that I have read is Trawese Este Sapo. Trawese Este Sapo. And uh, some of the, um, there are no many books in uh, Italian, I mean in Tagalog or Filipino, many self-help books in Filipino. So in that, I take personal, personal stories. That's where I read maybe a magazine, something like that. That's how I read. But my Spanish and Italian are advanced, so I use advanced books. I no longer read the short stories. I used to read short, short stories in Tagalog. Tagalog, I read short stories by Lingo Mastery. He has very good, very, very, very nice stories. If you are learning Tagalog, go and check his stories, okay? And um, I also read Spanish so short stories by Oli Richards. But right now I'm in the advanced. I'm reading self-help books in Spanish, Tagalog, or Filipino. Then in, ta in Italian, I'm reading the um, beginner books. I'm just starting and I say progress. You can check on my Instagram. If you want to see my progress, follow me on Instagram. I usually post what I do, uh, how it can help you. I challenge you with some things, okay? So this is how you do it. The books by Oli Richards actually have the story. Then the story, the hard words in the story are marked in black. Then when you go down that story, you will find that the words that are marked in black 
or are highlighted in black are translated in English for you to have an easy time to, co to continue reading without getting bored. And after that, you will find the summary of the story and questions. And those are very key things. Because when you have questions and you are able to answer them, that's the greatest. There, there are some times that I had, I, um, I got five out of five in the questions. And I was so happy. I was motivated to keep moving. I acquired a lot of things in that story. So when you get, uh, when you get, when you get to answer a question, you feel a sense of satisfaction satisfaction that you are understanding okay so this is how i do it when i open the book i know this is what i'm going to read so i first go to the vocabulary because i know it is there i go through it after that i go read the summary after reading the summary even though i won't understand a word i'll read it after reading it i'll write it down i'll write the summary down and then i go to the story I read the story, I read the story, of course I won't understand everything. After reading the story, I hear the audio version of it. After hearing the audio version of it, I go answer the questions. Then after answering the questions, I mark for myself and I write the vocabulary that I think will be helpful. And when I write, note this, I write in Italian. If I need to translate a word, I write it in Spanish, so Italian Spanish. Okay, I don't translate words in English, even the date or on my notebook, my Italian notebook where I write the summary of the stories, it is, everything is in Italian. Even if I write a number, I write uno, due, I don't write one, two or no, because that book is only for Italian. Okay, so I hope, I hope this video will help you to know how to read stories in Swahili so that you can acquire a range of vocabulary. And by the way, in my Swahili master course, I am selling a course, a course which has seven modules, and it has two bonus stories, aside from other six bonuses. Okay? If you will not be able to buy that uh, course, you can buy the book separately. The books are sold at $15 each, but there is a discount nine dollars each so hurry up before the discount is normal and get your book and the good thing about it is that when you get your book you immediately get enrolled in my discord my discord channel where we will be discussing about the story we talk about the story but in swahili so that you can have a ground in acquisition and as we talk about the stories in swahili you are going to get friends that you can hang around with maybe during weekdays because we'll only be discussing on Sundays, okay? Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope and I believe that it has helped you. Until next time, kwaheri!